Just wanted to make a quick video here to show you something kind of fun that I put together the other night and I suppose this is kind of like my response to newer video games that come out and never get a proper hardware release so you can't go to the shop and buy it in a CD and keep the box up on your shelf with the rest of your games, your collection or what have you. Uh, the game in question here is Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon and I'm sure most of you are well aware of this game by now. If you're not, I'd recommend going and checking it out because it's tons and tons of fun. Watch your references to 80s and 90s video games and action movies and probably has one of the best soundtracks I've ever heard in a video game. It's done by Power Glove, who I'm a huge fan of. So yeah, go check out the game if you haven't already. But as of making this video, it's not got a well, it's not planned to have a, a proper hardware release. It's only a downloadable game, so I was thinking I'd really like something just to put up on my shelf and add it into the collection because I'm a huge fan of the game uh, and it would just be nice to have an actual box to, to display on the shelf. So I was thinking well it's an 80s 90s inspired game so why not make a, a Mega Drive case for it? Just my imagination of how the game would look if it was ever released in the Mega Drive. So this is what I came up with. I went online and basically had a look for all the different images and art I'd need. Uh, I actually found a, a template which I used for all my spacing uh, and I came up with this and I think it turned out looking very nice. So down here you've got the Far Cry logo and you've obviously got the main box art there. I've added in some of the things I changed from the template with the likes of the, the logos here and I removed some text and added in some new Sega logos but yeah, I think it turned out looking pretty convincing. So you get your Far Cry logo on the side of the box there. Uh, I put in a Ubisoft logo up the side as well. And on the back I just put uh, some screenshots and I, I basically copied and pasted the, the blurb from the, the official website. So here you can read about the game and uh, get your screenshots there. Overall, I was really happy with the way it all turned out, and uh, yeah, that's my box art for the uh, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon release on the Mega Drive, and I'll quickly show you how it all turned out, because I printed it all out and made it into an actual uh, box as well. Here's the finished product. I just used a, a duplicate game I had for the, the donor box, took out the original artwork and put my own custom Far Cry cover in instead and I think it looks quite convincing so you've got your spine there with the, the logo and everything and you've got your uh, screenshots in the back and obviously you can read all about the, the game there but overall I think it looks quite convincing it's just printed onto basic plain white paper using a, a regular printer, nothing fancy Ideally what I'd like to do is get it professionally printed onto good quality paper, but I don't know if I'll really go as far as that. I was kind of trying to go for just the, the classic format, so the likes of Altered Beast here, Streets of Rage, where you've got this grid pattern and then this bit here with the, the logo in the middle. I like how on Streets of Rage the, the logo actually bursts over the, the sides there, and so I think I got that quite well with the the Blood Dragon image as well. But there you go. I think it turned out very nice, so I've got something to put up on my shelf. I'll leave link. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to uh, download the image and print it off yourself. But these are just some of the, the rough copies I did to get the spacing and everything. One thing I would say is don't bother using glossy photo paper because it doesn't. In my case it didn't seem to, to work that well, the, the blacks were a bit grey and the colours were a little dull and off, so you're best just using regular paper. But there, I've now got a, a nice boxed copy of Far Cry Blood Dragon to put on my shelf as a, a bit of a display piece. Just a bit of fun, I mean I know it's kind of impractical, it doesn't really do anything, but uh, yeah, I might even go as far as to make a a dummy cartridge just to put inside the, the box there. Right now it's just empty. And I'd also quite like to pick up one of those. Um, you know, you can go into a store and you get a little card that you take to the, the till to buy a code for the, the game. 
be quite good to get one of those. I've got it on the, uh, the 360, so I'd quite like to get one of the, the cards for that just to, to keep in the box, along with the, you know, just to have it up on the shelf sort of thing. But anyway, I'm starting to ramble. That's my boxed copy of Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon for the, the Mega Drive.